Feline and I have broken up. Um, it was mutual. Like, I envisioned my whole future with her, and I know she did the same, and this was mutual. I don't have to go into detail. Love just isn't enough sometimes. I just, I know what I'm worth. I know, like, what I deserve, and I know what I want, and I just need to be single. This happened literally before fireworks last night. And I care about Feline as well. It's like, she deserves the fucking world. And it's like, I could only give her a part of it. <laughs> but there are a few things I wanna clear up. People saying like, she broke up with me. No. People saying that it's because she's Polly. No. Like, people saying that she's in a relationship, another one, like found someone else. No. None of these things are true at all. Feline is a great person, but I feel like I wasn't happy because there were things that were happening and I know she wasn't happy and mutually this has been something that we have talked about it's hard when one person fixes or tries to fix things more than the other person a lot of people think that she's leaving me because I didn't get weight loss surgery or because of my weight or because of that no for the first time in my life I understand the saying sometimes you need more than love or sometimes love can only take you so far because I am absolutely and utterly in love with Feline and she is absolutely and utterly in love with me. And she got extremely, extremely drunk yesterday. She regrets drinking that hard, but she is trying to numb her pain. She is hurting too. She doesn't want to lose me and she regrets, she just regrets things. And marriage is something I've always kind of talked about and it's because of the problems, but it was still something that I did want with her if she worked on herself and we were able to grow together, that is something I wanted. In your words, why did the breakup happen? In my words, um, I feel like this is probably the most adult relationship I've ever had. Um, there was a lot of growth on both ends. And as you grow, sometimes you just realize you need different things than what you may have originally thought you needed. Um, and that's what it came down to. We just, we don't give each other what we need. Um, in not all senses, that's, that's not in all senses, but in enough sense that we just realized we may not be the best for each other. Um, or at least in the capacity of a relationship we're still in love like i still love her but sometimes that's just not enough to push a relationship through <laughs> i realized a few days ago that this isn't mutual anymore <laughs> not at all i would give anything to be with feline again anything like i would have our worst day over every single day for the rest of my life if that meant I got to spend it with her. <laughs> On my end, I made a mistake. I made a mistake breaking up with her. And uh, I'm not sure she feels the same. And a lot of people were just so dead set on it, like not being mutual and it like totally was in the beginning. And it's totally not now and I think that's like really freaking hard for my like brain to absorb. Um, a lot of people are like, so why July 4th? Like what happened? Like you guys still saw fireworks. So like, I don't understand what happened. I don't really want to go like obviously into detail, but yes, we did end up breaking up before fireworks and I still really, really wanted to go see fireworks. It's my mom's favorite holiday. So while my mom's watching fireworks in her state, I feel like connected to her in a way. So Feline and I still went. She didn't want to at first. And then when she realized how important it was to me, we still ended up going. I still can't believe that people actually still think that I'm faking this. Trust, if I was to fake a breakup, like there would be some tea involved. I would be spilling some tea for sure. But I'm never gonna say anything bad about Feline. I'm never gonna spill tea about her, nothing. Um, and she's not gonna do that regarding me either she wants nothing but the best for me and i want nothing but the best for her like we're literal best friends people like have a conspiracy that i'm looking for a girlfriend because i showed you a filtered photo the stretching has gone way too far folks i promise you i'm literally just sending this to one of my really good friends okay i have finally like reached a point where if feline was even to ask for me back i would say no because i know what we both deserve so i am leaving 
heartbreak era. Okay, guys, so we need to talk about my friend because <sighs> the rumors are real. So when I was in a relationship with Feline, I... I don't know, I put my everything into her. So I felt like along the way I lost friendships, et cetera, et cetera, because when I do get into a relationship, all of my energy goes to them. All of my attention goes to them. And it's always been like really hard for me to like find that balance, especially within like this relationship or the relationship I was in, excuse me. This is a friend that I've had for over a decade. Yes, I have. Um, I actually met her when I was in Virginia, but this is literally strictly friendship. I am not in a relationship. I'm not getting in a relationship. I don't know like what happened last night, but we did hook up. Um, uh, I don't even know why I'm sharing this. It's just my journey of life. And it has definitely been a crazy little plot twist. I was not expecting it and it kind of just happened. And I was expecting to wake up with like weird regret like she was worried that i was gonna wake up with regret and then so it made me start beating into my head that i was going to and i'm very much the type of person i can't do casual sex i can't i never have um that's just not who i am so i was afraid that like weird feelings were gonna get involved but it's so weird i woke up with no regret i woke up with no weird feelings like at all i don't know why it happened or how it happened but it, it just happened it literally just happened we're not getting back together i know a lot of people think that assume that they say that we flirt on camera i think that we just have that like we, I was gonna say weird. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of weird because we're not together anymore. We do have that like connection. I don't know what to say, but we just know that we cannot be together. We we can't. Like even just through this like moving journey, it's just been so stressful and like we just I don't know. There's been a little bit of bumping heads for sure. No, me and Feline are not back together. It's just been it's been a confusing situation type deal. But we're not back together, and we're not gonna be back together. How was the hookup? <laughs> people want to know how it went down am i allowed to like <laughs> she don't care she literally don't care what i say i love that so what it was was um my nose was like red and i was like can you look at my nose <laughs> and so i showed her my nose and like i had my like flashlight and she just like looked into my eyes <laughs> it sounds like a movie it literally low-key felt like a movie it was so crazy weird um she like looked into my eyes and it was like this like magnetic field <laughs> uh it just happened and then she just hardcore kissed me um people were asking like who like it was not me i don't make first move nothing so i love feline like that's not gonna change who are you texting a friend no i do not have a new girlfriend no who are you texting just this person <laughs> have i met someone romantically i have there it is i have People are going to come for me. I know, but like, I, I'm not going to like hide it any longer. So do they live in Kentucky? No, they do not. What is your crush like? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I want to share anything yet. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. Uh, do they know you do YouTube? Yes. No, we are not moving in together. How did you guys meet? Like an online moment. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Why do you choose to text her when you go live? I can't stop. Well, you're a new girly beat in your vlogs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I just don't, I don't know. What's a good nickname for your new crush? So I just, I'm not going there yet. Um, she gave me permission to share literally anything. And I'm just like, I don't know how. I literally don't know how. So much for a single era. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Is she a femme or mask? <laughs> uh, <laughs> stop. Not a femme, no. Fingerlin is also a mood. 100% for sure. You guys watch my live stream? Oh, my. I don't know. I feel like I share too much. I feel like I share too much and too little all at the same time and none of it adds up for me. So, but I was talking to someone and things were pretty serious. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's no longer a thing anymore. And I just wanted to let people know that because it's important that I do. And it's just been kind of hard, like a just a weird adjustment period that I'm in. And I don't really understand it myself. The person I was talking to, it just seemed really like real and authentic and just like amazing and they wanted me to talk about them on my live stream and um we decided to like kind of end things today and there's a lot of like backstory behind it and not everything is black and white there's a huge gray area so yeah it's not a thing anymore and it's just kind of crazy honestly because like we had planned on meeting it was like a whole moment um it was like a really deep connection and it was really nice and um but yeah, just, I think we both realized that 
it's probably not a good idea because of some of the things that is like happening in their life or whatever but it does suck that's why i like i'm actually really sad today and like i was crying earlier and i was already just giving way too much of myself to this person and i'm not gonna say that i have like any regrets or anything um and no this is not a bruise it's exactly what you guys think it is there have been quite a few people asking like how can you move on from feline when you were so deeply in love with her and honestly i i don't know how it happened but i did fall in love with someone else Feline is very aware. It has been really hard for her and I don't really want to like share stuff about the situation that's like personal from her end but it, <laughs> it just happened. Um, it wasn't meant to happen. I am still actively in love with this person. I am not with them though. Again that's just more like personal things but I, I do love them. Um, they're truly honestly one of the most amazing people that I've ever ever known. It's just like hard to talk about it right now so I'm not really going to but Feelings happen. I don't know how it happened. It literally just happened. And normally that's how falling in love happens. Next thing you know, you're like, oh, hot damn, <laughs> I'm in love with this person. And so I'm actively in love with two people at once. I've never been the one. I've never been the one to experience that before. So it's different. I will say that. It's been really hard. It's been very hard. There's a lot of things <laughs> behind the scenes and it's just been a very interesting experience i will say that but maybe one day i can share a little bit more i just don't really feel comfortable right now feline has officially left um i had a whole breakdown already about it um a lot of people thought that we weren't really broken up and we were actually moving together and that's not the case um things have been very 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 up and down with her like either way i'm losing a very very like special person to me very very important person to me and I'm losing them and it's hard and I'm trying to like just be okay with being alone so I'm not gonna sugarcoat it I woke up today extremely depressed because I'm just gonna say my love life we're just gonna go with that I'm not allowed to like go into details but I'm just like tired of just hurting I'm, I'm really tired I forced myself to get up I forced myself to eat something even though I did not want to at all. Are you looking for a girlfriend right now? No, I want to be single. I don't want to be in a relationship. It's not something that like I'm looking for. There is some love life drama behind the scenes and I'm not going to talk about things that I do deal with um, on a day-to-day -day basis, which could probably seem confusing now that I've even brought it up. Has Feline ghosted you? Okay, so the answer is no, but I really hurt her after we broke up by falling in love with someone else. I hurt her a lot and I take accountability I obviously just could not control falling in love with someone else. Um, I very much fell in love. Um, I did. And it just was really hard for her and it became hard for me and it became a very big mess. And it just really went to show like how much she did love me and I felt horrible and I tried to fix it, but I kept failing at fixing it and it made it to where she doesn't even want to continue being my friend. So I went through like a whole separate heartbreak in private <laughs> like i just feel like i'm reliving the heartbreak just a million times over we were cordial for a bit after she left uh we would text then like almost daily i would text her like i love you i miss you because i just felt like i needed her to know and i needed her to know that i was sorry that i hurt her i talked it over with a friend and they said i think it's time that you just like respect her and stop contacting her and it's been really hard this is gonna sound dumb to some people but i am on day five of not contacting her and i know a lot of people are gonna be like that's so unhealthy. Trust me, I get it. I have mental illness. <laughs> and Feline was my very best friend for like over two years. You know, I thought I was gonna marry her and um, it's just been really, really hard. So we are not in contact and I'm going to be respecting her wishes even if it's really freaking hard. Like it's been so hard. Like I have wanted to call her, I've wanted to text her in just these last five days and it's like, I can't. And it's just been, a whole other level of torture because I miss her so much. And I just think out of respect for her and for myself and for our relationship, I just, I don't want to talk about her. And I know a lot of people think that like, I'm going to come on here and say bad things about her. Not going to happen. It's never going to happen. So this isn't really something that I want to go into detail about, but a lot of people are asking, how did you hurt your ex by falling in love with someone else? Like you guys weren't together. But obviously some of this is my story to tell, but just out of respect for all parties, um, I'm going to be vague, but I do also want to just make a little bit clear that uh, I did hurt her because my ex wanted to possibly try to get back together. Uh, she wanted us to work on ourselves and possibly get back together one day. And normally that would have been something I would have jumped at like this, 
but when I fell in love, I continuously chose this other person over her and I was hurting her like really bad. A lot went down, a, a lot of things happened, but at the time I thought I was choosing my happiness. And, you know, in my head I was like, I'm single, we're broken up for a reason. I remember telling my ex like, why don't we try poly? That's never anything I would have ever suggested in the past. But she didn't even want to do that. And it's like, my ex loved me so much and she really wanted to try to make it work. But I was repeatedly choosing another person over her. And that is the reason why that she does not want to speak to me anymore. And I just feel so bad for hurting her. I was just in a really confused spot and I thought I was doing the right thing initially in the end. You guys are only hearing like 5% of the story out of 100% because again, there are other parties and just out of respect, I'm just not going to do that to them. All right. Toodaloo, folks.